Hello and welcome back to Carlos and Lisa. I'm Lisa Remillard. And I'm Carlos Amesqua. Harvey Weinstein is now in the custody of the Department of Corrections after a jury in New York found him guilty of two counts of sexual assault. He was acquitted of the two more serious counts of predatory sexual assault and first-degree rape. With the Me Too movement as a backdrop for this case, we saw one of the once most powerful men in Hollywood with a really bad reputation basically finally come to justice. Um, and there's a small group of women as part of the bigger group of accusers that call themselves the silence breakers and they have really been at the forefront of of this prosecution and one of those silence breakers is our very own Lauren Sabat and she's here hi Lauren hi, hi Lauren. guys let's get right to the, 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 the I want to know how you feel about how this all went down as the verdict was read what was your sense well, before the verdict was read, um, many of us were really, really nervous. I mean, we were really bracing ourselves for Why? the worst. Because this was um, a really difficult, narrow legal argument here. Uh, basically, w what the prosecution needed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt was that a crime com was committed here. And it was basically he said, she said. I mean, you had to believe the victims that were put on the stand. He never took the stand himself, but you had to believe what they were telling you because there was no evidence, there was, n there was nothing to go on besides their words. And so we think this is a huge victory because not only do they believe that a crime did in fact happen, but they weren't swayed by the fact that these victims ended up keeping in touch with him, ended up having some kind of relationship with him afterward. That is huge. So this is really a watershed case for those reasons. I mean, lots of people are talking about this case as in terms of future, not just for Harvey yeah. Weinstein, but for other types of sexual predators and powers of position who for years have been able to abuse the system and abuse women. And now all of a sudden with this case, what do you think is the future or the long term because of this? Well, I think this case will shape the future in the sense that hopefully we're not going to look at sexual crimes the same anymore, you know, because there's really no such thing as a perfect victim. And that's usually what they looked for when they prosecuted these crimes. They needed a perfect victim, someone who, you know, kicked him and ran or someone who called the cops immediately. And that's just not the reality of how sexual crimes work. Many, many times um, the victims are abused by people they know. The victims end up having to keep in touch with these people, whether it was a family member, someone they work for. So the, the nature of sexual crimes is so murky. And this case really shows the reality of it. So hopefully, you know, prosecutors will take more cases like this into court um, with the chances of winning because so many victims of sexual crime never do see their day in court because the cards are just stacked against them. It's, it's really the not beginning. worth it. Mm -hmm. right. So now he he's faces also the cases here in Los Angeles. That's right. What, how do you think, will this have a chilling effect on that case? And what, what do you, what's your sense of that? I hope this case will will bring momentum when it when it comes to LA uh, you know LA has much different statutes and so we saw some of what they call Molyneux witnesses brought into court uh, in New York like um, Annabella Shiora whose case was way past the statute of limitations here in LA they can they can bring a lot of bad acts uh, witnesses into court so you're gonna hear from a lot of different you know victims of Harvey Weinstein that may or may not be able to to prosecute their cases, but would add to um, establishing a pattern yeah. of his behavior. Okay, I wanna talk about the fact that in we've come to a place where a group of women has been successfully able, basically, to take down one of the three most powerful people in Hollywood. It's not something to be taken lightly, and it's certainly not something that has ever happened before. I'm interested in the group of you. Yeah. How has that impacted you? The fact of what you've been able to accomplish. I mean, obviously because of the horrible things that he sure. has done. But on your side, what does that mean to you? It's it's um I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 absolutely surreal to think that two and a half years ago he was being applauded as a god of Hollywood. You know, every major movie star was thanking him at their, you know, acceptance speeches, and now he's in jail. Uh, that's no small feat, you're right. But think about how long this took. I mean, he was, you know, 
at it for 30 years, creating hundreds of it, not hundreds, but at least a hundred victims here. So that have that have spoken out. I mean, there's okay. probably more, more that haven't. So the idea that we took him down, it you know, it was our telling of our stories that many of these women put a lot on the line to do. But that was hard enough in and of itself because most journalists wouldn't have ever covered these stories. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, m you know, some of these women went to the police. They were told, "Sorry, there's no way we're going to, you know, prosecute this guy. He had way too much money, he had way too much power. He spent millions of dollars discrediting women. He bought off reporters in the press." So this was someone that um, put a lot of money into protecting his reputation. Do you think there has been a lesson learned here that, that Hollywood <laughs> might? Uh, change its stripes that th these kinds of things won't happen again. I get a sense that not so much that it's it's so deeply rooted in the culture in Hollywood. How much of a difference do you think the Weinstein case actually will do? That's a really good question. I wish I knew the answer yeah. to that. I mean, you know, you hear about the Me Too movement now. It's definitely something that's part of society. It's you know, there's hashtags, but when it comes down to it, are men still going to use their power? Um, you know, to trade sexual favors. I, I think that goes back a lot longer mm -hmm. than this movement, and it's going to take a lot more for that to actually change. But I do believe, um, not just us, but even the generation below us, are just not willing to put up with what we once did. Yeah. They're just not willing to take that as an answer that he's the boss, you do what he says. And that's a huge change. And that's a huge right. change. Yeah, yeah. And also, there's places to go now if you see this behavior mm -hmm. going on where there really wasn't anywhere to report this to before. I mean, you went to a human resources inside a company that he runs. What are they going to do for you? <laughs> right. So, yeah. or, or like you're saying, police office, you know, a police department sure. that has legally has their hands tied because there's no yeah. physical evidence or there's no no perfect no victim. No physical evidence. Yeah, no perfect victim. Um, but also, you know, he paid a lot of money to get district attorneys uh, into absolutely. office. Absolutely. So this was, you know, the the infrastructure really needs to change in order to make it safe for for everybody because his lawyer um, made a lot of a lot of comments throughout the trial that these women made bad choices, that they just regret the choices they made, and, and now you know they're blaming him. No one should have to go to a business meeting and be assaulted. No one should have to worry about that when they're sent by an agent to a business meeting. Right. Let's talk about the, the effect that this will have on those who participated in this, their futures, their careers, because now Hollywood will look at women who were involved in this case and say, maybe not, maybe I don't want to be involved because Something, I may do or say something that's going to get me in trouble. How do you think that's going to affect the A lot the of us have felt that there's been a chilling effect. I mean, I don't even work in Hollywood. I, I work in TV news. Yeah, right. um, and yet you're forever labeled as one of these Weinstein women. You are a whistleblower in some, you know, in many people's minds. And so do I have to worry about what I say around the office? Are these women too political? You know, we don't mm. want to hire them as yeah, actresses. Yeah. It's, it's a tough road. Look, speaking out comes with a lot of sacrifice, um, and I think many of us felt that sacrifice pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of trolling online, um, but at the end of the day, I think many of us believe that this was worth it, particularly now that this verdict has come down. And as you mentioned, yeah. we've all become really close friends. I mean, this has been two years that I've gotten to know so, so many of these women. We go out to lunch together now on the weekends. We all, you know, call each other in the middle of the night when we're nervous, um, awaiting this verdict, or, you know, we, they have an understanding of this situation that many people can't possibly understand. So. What is your hope um, of for the LA case and for other women who perhaps have gone through this, now seeing this happen in New York and now coming to LA? I have a lot of hope for the LA case because um, the, the, the law here is a lot more broad and so they will be able to bring in a lot more victims. You're going to yeah. hear from women that you, you didn't hear from in the New York case. Um, but also I, I hope it shows that um, this should be a cautionary tale. Yeah. You can only get, get away with this type of behavior for so long. I mean, think about it. It took more than 100 of us to come out for something like this to happen. So think of the, the, the victims that don't get to see their day in court. Hopefully this is for them as well. Well, we appreciate uh, your sharing that story with Thanks us and, and applaud you for your courage yeah. and hope that the future continues for you, that, that you know things will happen and open up and be what they want, what you want, Me what too. you want them yeah. to do. Yeah. Me too. yeah, because yeah, yeah, this yeah. is really something to watch from the yeah. outside. It really is. It, it's it's history. It really was a historic yeah. um, decision. I'm 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 glad I got to contribute it in some way. And thank you guys for yeah. for listening to the story. And um, 
Well, you and your and and the rest of the ladies are always welcome to come here yeah, and talk yeah, about absolutely. it. All right, you'll be invited to brunch. Next yes, time. I would love that. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. Thank you, guys.